Today I'm hosting the Champions League, but it's across every FIFA. That means PSG will have the likes of Mbappe, Okocha and Ibrahimovic to step up if needed. AC Milan will have Kaka, Ronaldinho and R9 if the right FIFA gets selected. And Real Madrid, well, they've had some of the best teams in FIFA's history. We'll also be doing the new Champions League format where teams 1 to 8 will qualify directly for the round of 16 and teams 9 to 24 will battle it out to decide who will join them. Now, I've already done that for you and this is what it looks like. And in no surprise, it will be Bayern Munich finishing first. I mean, it always does help when you have the top goal scorer in Harry Kane on your team. There was also no surprise in who finished second as Real Madrid would finish there. And that was very much thanks to new signing Mbappe who was getting the goals they needed. On to Inter Milan, they managed to finish third in the table. The star players of Barella, Dumfries and Martinez came through for them. In fourth place, Arsenal would finish there. The chemistry they've shown in the last couple years is starting to pay off. Fifth and sixth place would see Manchester City and AC Milan getting home advantage for the round of 16. And it was Haaland spearheading Man City as it was Liao spearheading AC Milan. In seventh place, it would be Liverpool getting home advantage. But that's no surprise when you have the likes of Mo Salah lead in the line. And the final team to get home advantage for the round of 16 is Juventus. They may have won and lost the same amount of games, but nothing matters until it's the knockouts. And with our top eight secured, that means teams 9 to 24 will have to go into a playoff to decide who will join them in the round of 16. And let me know your prediction on who's going to win and make sure you subscribe too, because why not? And to get the playoff started, we would head over to FIFA 17 where Roma played Ajax and a 90th minute penalty was enough to send Ajax through. Meanwhile, the game between Porto and PSV over on FIFA 03 would end 2-1 to Porto thanks to two goals from Helder Postiga. And in our third game between Porto and Lisbon on FIFA 04, it would go all the way to penalties. He steps up, Silva shoots and it's saved! Diawara steps up and Diawara misses! Oh my goodness! It's rocking back. But can he put the ball in the back of the net? He can't! Boscovic one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He shoots and it's down the middle and they have done it. It will be PSG heading through to the round of 16 thanks to a big penalty shootout. Man United, Borussia Dortmund, Barcelona and Benfica would also all qualify for the round of 16. But there is one big playoff game left. Atletico Madrid taking on Chelsea. We will be taking ourselves over to FIFA 12. Thiago with a ball roll chop. He still got it though. Into Gabby. Gabby with the strike and it's wide of the mark. He plays it into Lampard. Lampard, can he find Drogba? No, Lampard's going by himself. Frank Lampard and it's wide of the mark. Lampard into Drogba. Drogba back to Lampard. Lampard now plays it into Torres. Torres 101 and he slots it home. But in the Champions League, you can't get too comfortable. Oh, he is onside. Falcao. Can Falcao pull them level? Random out Falcao shoots and he scores. Look at the composure from Falcao to cut inside and slot it home. And the celebration is everything. Silvio back to Mario Suarez. Into Gabby. This could be the one. They found Falcao. Falcao shoots and it. Ooh. And late in the game, Falcao would get a chance to make up for his mistake. Oh, but Falcao is in in the 90th minute. Radamel Falcao to seal the deal. What a game. Falcao scores. Atletico Madrid are heading through to the round of 16. That has to be game of the tournament so far. And with the playoffs done, we can now get into the round of 16. And for our first round of 16 game, we are seeing Bayern Munich take on Ajax. What FIFA will Bayern versus Ajax be played on? It will be FIFA 14. Ribery finds Robin. Can Robin get the shot off? Robin shoots and it's just wide of the mark. Paulson still has it. He's been tackled. Paulson finds Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson shoots and he's in the post. Oh, that's a great chance to go 1-0 up. And the second half would be just as quiet until the 80th minute. Plays it out to Philip Lahm. They've got to cross it into Mandzukic. He's yet to get the ball. They do whip it in. <laughs> Mandzukic! I might be a visionary because in the 84th minute, Mandzukic gets the ball in the back of the net. And just like that, Bayern Munich will be our first team into the quarterfinals. The next game will be Real Madrid taking on Porto, but it will be on FIFA 15. Benzema finds Rodriguez. Rodriguez skips past his man. He shoots. Oh, Van Helton has to pull out a save. Can they win it? They don't. Only as far as Marcelo, who finds Benzema. Benzema twisting and turning in the box. Can he do it? He cuts inside. Benzema with a chance. Squares it and he scores. It's Bale at the back post. And 12 minutes gone. They are cooking up a storm. Finds Oliver Torres. Back to Brahimi. Brahimi finds Ricardo Caresma. 
Can Charisma get the ball in the box? Skips past. He gets the cross in. Alexandra on the back post. But in the 42nd minute, something happened which could change the trajectory of this game. Gareth Bell has been injured and it looks quite bad. Modric back to Cruz. Cruz into Rodriguez. Into Benzema. Benzema has a chance. He finds Heze. Heze shoots. He's missed. Very impactful since he's come on. He still found the ball. He's crossed it. Ronaldo's on the back stick. But no one's there across. Charisma tries to cross it. They still have it though. Modric tackles. And it looks like that will be game. It will be Real Madrid just edging it into the quarterfinals. And for game three of the round of 16, it was back to FIFA 14 as Inter took on Manchester United. Van Persie twisting and turning. He finds Rooney. Rooney's on side. Back to Van Persie. Van Persie with a chance. He shoots and it's been blocked. Carrick's dealt with it. No, he hasn't. They found it. Inter with a chance. And it's a big challenge. No, it's a penalty. Palacio with a chance to give Inter the lead. Taking his time. He's running up to it now. Up against De Gea. He shoots. Chips him. He's in the post. And he won't follow up. He's missed. What is happening? Wayne Rooney finds the ball into Raphael. Will Man United punish the mistake? Van Persie. He's on. He scores. Robin Van Persie gives United the lead minutes after Palacio misses his pen. Plays it into Cleverly. Can Cleverly get the ball across? Back to Welbeck. He crosses it in. There's a man at the back stick, Carrick. Back to Rooney. Rooney shoots and it's blocked. I think the manager said something to Inter at half time. They look a different team. What can he do with it? He's crossed it in. There's a man waiting. Alvarez and it's gone in. Taylor makes up for the earlier penalty miss. And now it's 1-1 with 75 minutes gone. And after a quiet end of second half and extra time, we found ourselves at the penalty shootout. Here we go. Palacio, he missed the first one. Will he miss his second? It counts again. Palacio steps up and he's missed again. Oh my god. This guy is having a nightmare day. Van Persie, who scored minutes after that Palacio miss. Will he do the same here? He steps up and he's missed. The penalties would go back and forth with both teams scoring and the players looking very comfortable and confident from the spot. And now Lewis Nanny needs to score here if United are to go through. He walks up to it. He takes the chip. He's hit the post. Oh my god. The nerve to do a chip when it's the deciding penalty. It has cost them and Inter will be going through to the quarterfinals. And lucky for us, the fun didn't slow down there. Man City would beat Dortmund 1-0 on FIFA 07 thanks to this header from Karadi. PSG would beat Arsenal on penalties over on FIFA 20. Milan would beat Benfica 1-0 on FIFA 18 thanks to this Frank Kessie banger. And two goals from Radamel Falcao on FIFA 13 was enough to see Atletico beat Juventus. But the final game of the round of 16 was spicy as Liverpool was taking on Barca over on FIFA 09. Iniesta's on the charge. He finds Eto. Eto finds Messi. There's a big chance here. Javi's one on one. Javi shoots and it's wide of the mark. Can he find Eto? He does find Eto. Eto back to Iniesta. Back into Eto. Eto with the strike first time and it's wide of the mark. Oh, it's into Fernando Torres now. Fernando Torres gets past his man. Dirk Kite. Dirk Kite with a strike and it's into Victor Valdez's hands. And at half time, a lot of chances on the board, but no goals. Fernando Torres is in if he can go. Fernando Torres is in. He's one on one. A chance to give Liverpool the lead. Fernando Torres with the chip. It's pointless. Has another chance and the header is wasted. And if you don't take your chances, you know what will happen. And he has to with a strike. He shoots. Henry's there for the rebound. If he can score, he crosses it across and Javi gets the goal Barca are looking for. Well worked goal by Barcelona down to the six yard box and Javi gives them the lead. They've still got another chance. No, they will not. It will be Barcelona heading through to the quarterfinals thanks to a Xavi goal. 16 has gone down to eight as we get ready for the quarterfinals. And for our first quarterfinal, we will see Bayern taking on Atletico. Looks like it's going to be on FIFA 06. We are going back in time. Atletico, no foul cow, no problem. They're running down the wing. Maxi Rodriguez tries to get the cross in, but he can't. De Roberto plays it into Balak. Balak driving now. Balak tries to find Pizarro. Does find Pizarro. Pizarro shoots and lay off. Franco makes the save. Nothing to really show besides has that one chance and you got a question what is going to happen in this game can he produce a great delivery it's not half bad that it's a head of goal <laughs> it was always going to take something special when he's done just that Balak twisting and turning he's played it out to the goal scorer Dysler. Dysler's running down the wing he's cut it back tries to play it across to Makai Makai touches it down and he's put it posted in where has that come from? Bayern two minutes up with less than five minutes played. But you can't sleep in the Champions League. Atletico found this man and they've tucked it away. It's not over yet. We may have spoke too soon as Maxi Rodriguez puts it away. And now Atletico, they win the ball back. Seven minutes gone. 
Can they get an equalizer? It's a shot from Torres and it's an easy catch for Khan. Claudio Pizarro wasting time. And that is why Bayern will be our first team into the semi-finals. Things aren't slowing down as we have Real Madrid taking on Benfica over on FIFA 12. It's Ramos now. Can he get a cross? You know he's passed it into Di Maria. Di Maria gets the cross in. Luis Sal misses the header. It's back to Fabio Cohen. Trau shoots and it's over the bar. Jabi Alonso plays it out wide to Ramos. Ramos now back into Jabi Alonso. Jabi Alonso with a chance. He cuts inside. Jabi Alonso with a strike and the finish. Oh my goodness. It's a fantastically worked goal from Real Madrid. And Jabi Alonso has produced the end product. Can he get the crossing? Goes back to Aymar. Aymar touches it. Tries to find Vitzel. Vitzel shoots and it's wide of the mark. The second half was a lot more cagey and Benfica just couldn't seem to work their way into the game. Real Madrid have edged it through and will be joining Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. Our third game was on FC24 and saw Inter Milan taking on Barcelona. Rafinha with a chance. Finds De Jong. Who finds Lewandowski. Lewandowski with a shot and he scores. What a start for Barcelona. They are off to a flyer. Kalinoglu into Turam. Turan with the turn, finds Martinez, Martinez shoots and Martinez scores. It's 1-1, we are back on level terms and both teams have to thank their striker. Shielding the ball nicely, back to Pedri, into Gavi. Gavi with a chance now, Gavi with a strike, no, Rafinha now has a chance, Rafinha shoots and Rafinha scores. This game will have goals in it, I can tell you that as Rafinha is scoring with his weaker foot. Plays it, shields it, back into Barella who finds Marcus Turam. Marcus Turam, can we see another goal here? He shoots! Whoa! Marcus Turam has scored a belter and Inter are back on level terms again. But in the second half, Barca came out flying. Rafinha skipping past his man again. He's already got on the score sheet. Will he get an assist? No, he's going for it himself. Squares it. Pedri! Pedri finds Lewandowski. Lewandowski finds Rafinha. Rafinha finds Gavi. They found De Jong. De Jong! Oh my goodness. It really is the Barcelona way as they've scored. Scored again, 4-2 to the good. Finds it, gets it into Kalinoglu. Kalinoglu finds Fratezi, who finds Taram. Taram shoots! Taram shoots! <laughs> and Inter are saying, don't give up on us just yet. Taram finds Barella. Barella tries to ball roll it. He can't. Christensen wins it. And that will be it. What a game that was. But Barcelona are just about edging through. And our final game of the quarterfinals was on FIFA 10 as Manchester City was taking on PSG. They played a beautiful pass into Rubinho. Rubinho's no one's in his way. Rubinho is one-on-one -on -one with the chip. He chips it. It's over. Can he get there? He can't get there. It's off the post. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful front three right now. Tevez with the cross. Rubinho's waiting. Touch. And he, oh, he can't finish. Plays it into Tevez. Adebayo's waiting and so is Rabinho. He's crossing. Rabinho to the back stick. He won't miss the third time. Plays it into Tevez. Tevez now into Wayne Bridge. He crosses. Adebayo's there is two. And PSG are in big trouble by the looks of things. Wayne Bridge finds Rabinho. Rabinho, Adebayo's waiting in the box. He gets the cross into the man there. is off the post. Steven Island now with a cross. Tevez is waiting. Adebayo's there. He's touched it. He's shot and it's off the post. Rubinho's there though. Rubinho's off the post. Oh my God. Manchester City have absolutely dominated PSG in this quarterfinal and they will be the final team to make the four of the semifinals. And with that, we now have our four teams for the semifinals. Bayern, Man City, Real Madrid and Barcelona. We are running Bayern versus Barcelona over on FIFA 19. They found Alaba on the wing. He tries to get the cross in. Alaba does. Punch by Ter Stegen, only as far as Thiago. Nabri! And it's another save by Ter Stegen. Alaba into Martinez, who finds Nabri. It's back to Hummels, into Muller now. Muller finds Nabri. Nabri shoots and it's 1 0. Nabri just about getting there in front of the defender, and it is 1 0 in the semi finals to Bayern Munich. This is crazy scenes into Thiago. Thiago takes the ball, plays it into Coleman. Coleman back to Thiago. Thiago strikes us 2 0. Demolition destroyed the objective. That is what is happening right here. And Barcelona cannot keep up with this Bayern Munich team. And the second half was more of the same. He crosses it in. There's a man waiting. The smaller is three. And you've got to ask, where on earth are Barcelona right now? Well, I enter Lewandowski. Hasn't scored, but has been instrumental up front. Look at the one touch movement. Look at the one touch movement. Oh my goodness, this is dangerous. And this shot would just sum up Barca's day. And with 90 minutes done, we have our first team heading into the Champions League final. And our last matchup before the final is on FIFA 08 as Real Madrid take on Manchester City. The first half of the semi-final would be very cagey with this being the best chance of the half. Raul now on the turn. Raul has a chance. Can't do anything as far as Schneider. Back to Raul. Raul fouls Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy shoots and there is the goal we've been looking for. Rude Van Nistelrooy breaking the deadlock. 60 minutes on the clock and Man City could be 
in trouble. 30 meters from goal. Alano on the free kick. Can he deliver? No, they've decided to go for it. And it's straight into Casillas' hand. And just like that, we have our second team for the Champions League final. There's been loads of games on so many different FIFAs. And it's time for our final two. Bayern Munich taking on Real Madrid. But for the final, we're adding a twist. The first half will be played on a FIFA decided by the wheel. But the second half must be played on FC 25. FIFA 20 or FIFA 21 is FIFA 21 to kick things off. And both teams knew what it meant as the first half was extremely cagey. Muller now with a chance. Finds Lewandowski. Lewandowski with a chance. Skips past his man. He shoots and it's off the post. That's the closest we've come to a goal in this final. And so far, there is nothing to show for it, which means the next 45 minutes on FC 25 mean everything. Elise with a throw into Pavlovic. Pavlovic back to Elise. There's a chance here. Elise plays it short to Kane. Kane into Musiala and it's blocked. Big block. Little bit of dribbling. Can he find Mbappe? Does find Mbappe. Is Mbappe onside? He might be. Mbappe shoots and it's off the post. Vinny's got the ball now. Vinny on the ball. Found Mbappe. Mbappe's one on one. Mbappe shoots and Mbappe gets the goal. In the final, you need your biggest players. And that's exactly what Real Madrid have got. And now Bayern need to step it up if they're to pull it back. Musiala finds Pavlovic. Pavlovic shoots and Courtois has to pull out a stop. Beautiful dribbling by Musiala. Going by himself. It's Jamal Musiala. Musiala shoots and Courtois has to pull out a save. He's taking his time. Can he find someone? He finds Kane. Came back to Muller. Muller with a strike and Courtois has to pull out another save. He does get it back to Rodrigo. Rodrigo's bursting into the box now. Rodrigo with an opportunity. He's going to go by himself. Rodrigo shoots and Montnoy has to make a save. Can they find him? They found Alfonso Davies. This is the last attack. One minute on the clock. They've crossed it. Can Nabry get there? No we can't can Musiala get there he might not be able to they found Mendy and Real Madrid will clear it and win the Champions League and just like that Real Madrid are the Champions League winners and have had the best team across all the FIFAs and if you love that video then you're gonna love this one here so click here to watch it